Well, here's our Cooper Hawk. Gonna preen up a little bit. We're back on the Seuss Creek Trail. First trip in this year. I just checked on last year's nest. Looked like I had a little ice damage. And found this one up in the tree here, one of the favorite perches in the sun. And just kind of enjoying it. You can see that the trees are swaying a little bit. And I'm trying to check it out here. But this is one of our Cooper Hawks. Oh, there he goes, flying. Alright, I'll watch where he goes. So they're definitely back in the area. See if I can hear them calling to the mate. Well, here we are at the Seuss Creek Cooper's Nest. This is the one they used last year. And you can see there's a lot of damage with the nest. Looks like it got iced up and then it slid. So it's got a lot of it kind of slid off to the back there. So it'll be interesting to see if they rebuild this one or go back to their previous nest in the conifer tree. Anyway, what kind of first trip in here this year and the sun's out and thought we'd check up on them and first thing we're observing now is that there is some damage to the nest they used last year. This is what I call ice damage. It gets iced up and then it slides from the weight of the ice. So you can see how everything's just kind of pulled off to the back there. But it still could be usable. They could uh, fix it up. So we're going to check and uh, see if we can locate them. And I'll see if there's any activity at the nest in the big fir tree. Alright. Well, our lighting's good now. And we're zoomed in on the Cooper Hawk nest. The female flew over my head. I was sitting on the rock. She didn't holler or anything. It went over the fir tree way over. So I was waiting for the lighting to get good. So I came over here and now I'm set up on the nest. And this will be the position I shoot from if they bring a stick and start working on it. So my lighting is perfect and I got a good clean view of the nest. They put a lot of sticks in there, right up there in the crotch. It's really thick. The old part's way down, it slid down. You can see that on the bottom there. They've got it all rebuilt. It's all ready for the egg, so. We're still a little ways away from that, but we want to catch them putting in a few sticks and maybe try to get them mating. We've got our eyes open. It's really good weather. The sky's blue now. And it's good and clear, so we'll see if we can locate them. Yeah, here's our Cooper Hawk. Right on the Seuss Creek Trail across from the nest. Or fly in and cackle with a stick and out she went. I got the nest in good shape, so I had to rebuild it because it had a little bit of a snow buildup on it and slid half of the twigs out last winter. But they've got that all repaired now and they're all ready for this season. And she's just sitting here looking really good. It's her job to guard that nest against crows and everything else. He's off doing hunting. Now it looks like her crop, he might have fed her. She looks like she's got a full crop today. Should be coming in any minute. Do their uh, nest building early in the morning usually. Oh yeah, I just landed. Look at that, would you? We're enjoying this. The early snooper finds the cooper. Absolutely. You can see how big that nest is. This bird's about the size of a crow, the cooper hawk. It's a good sized nest. Oh, and out for another stick. All right. 